What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Mylon Sword Podcast. Before we get started with our guests, uh, TLEV Media, who gave us an amazing podcast, by the way. It was it was a good one, and I can't wait for you guys to watch this. So hope you guys do enjoy the podcast. But before, of course, we're going to give you our weekly update on how we're doing with the docuseries. Uh, episodes 1 and 2 are completely done, uh, written, and they're finished. We're going to move on to episode 3 now. Uh, I know Sammy's going to start writing that. Sammy, um, episode 3, you ready for that one or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, I'm ready to... By the time this has come out, it should have already been written, so that's a, an update for you all in the future. Mm. Yeah. We are filming this prior to the prior. Um, yeah. So it should be done, um, and then we'll be moving on forward on to the episode four, hopefully. And, yeah, from four on, we're going to write them together um, and start really... There's going to be a ton more research than the first couple of episodes that we've done, but... It's going to be fun. Uh, we do touch up a little bit about it on the podcast later on in the podcast, so I hope you guys uh, get a little – I'm going to leave it in there. It's a little sneak preview, a little hints stuff. Uh, TLEV Media will be involved in this, though, so there's your first hint about that. Um, and I, but, I think uh, just, just if you don't mind me interjecting, I think uh, having a good time doing this uh, as well as uh, – we want to make sure, like I said, I keep mentioning, we want to make sure they're making quality content and not – rushing through it yeah um, but enjoy enjoy the podcast because I, I think we have a lot of fun um you know we definitely. hope that you guys don't have a fun time watching it uh, definitely we have fun time filming it. yeah so yeah enjoy the podcast with tlv media and here it goes is that the myers test no no not at all <laughs> you took the wrong <laughs> one <laughs> The Oscar Myers. Y'all been taking the SAT while we've yeah. been taking the Myers. I've been taking the CAT. <laughs> I'd be taking no fucking test because I'm a custodian. There you go. Hey. <laughs> well, Living that custodial life, man. There you go. Custodian God. All right. <laughs> Is that how you want to start your podcast? All right. <laughs> it's already recording, so, I mean, you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know. Hey, Got to have a cold open somehow, right? We're All ready. Right. Sounds good. Let's do this. Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> it's time to get your fucking horror on, live from their dumpy little studio in beautiful Norwalk, California. It's the Mindless Horror Podcast with Sammy and Anthony. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Miles Four Podcast, The Road to One Hundred, Episode Ninety Four. Uh, We're in the driver's seat. In the driver's seat, man. We're in the end game now. Uh, that's such a <laughs> terrible number, ninety-four. Only so many, so many will get that. No, so many. Wouldn't um, you want to be, huh? One hundred. Gosh, uh, yeah. why, why are we no. ninety-four, not one hundred? Because one hundred is for. No, I don't no, even know who's going to be on the 100th episode yet. I had a big thing planned where it was going to be an in-person thing, and then, you know, yeah. circumstances change. There was uh, going to be balloons. There was going to be ice cream. You guys cream. were going to be 100. You guys could still be 100, actually. Uh, I would have much rather have done it in person. <laughs> oh, I yeah, yeah, for sure. sure. I think you Better just, experience, yeah. but at, at the circumstances, we might have to do it over like this. Well, maybe just do like, you know, 99, then 99.1, 99.2. Oh, God, yeah, just keep going, you know, just do points until it's freaking Just do 99 and then just go full on ghost. Like, you ghost the <laughs> shit. Like, nothing <laughs> on your channel until, like, this stuff's done. And then I don't you even know on. what 100 will be like. I haven't even gotten that far yet as far as guest wise, but yeah. when it happens. Can we skip from 99 to 420, though? Ah! Oh wow! So you got big yeah. plans, big plans. What'd you guys do for sixty nine then? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it was. I don't even know. I'd have to look. It's on YouTube. Yeah, you gotta go back now. <laughs> was sixty nine decent? Yeah, it was. It was, decent. It was, it was okay. know, I'll look up what sixty nine yeah. was. Sixty nine was like you know. <laughs> Comes on nights of four, they get real rated R real quick. It, it wasn't, it wasn't as like you know what everybody was expecting. Just kind of was like, eh. yeah. it was it's like every one that it was. <laughs> By the way, our guest today, uh, the league TLEV, they're here. Hi, hi, hi. We're right here. We're here. What is this now? Like your third or fourth time being on the show? 
Too many. Uh, uh, I think this might be number four. Lucky four. 99. I think we've done two in studio over with you guys. The first one was over Skype. Now this fourth right. one's on Skype. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's the last, right. This is the fourth? Yeah. The fourth time. Lucky hey, four. hey, may the fourth be with you. Hey, it's coming up, man. That is coming up. Yeah. Too bad episode eight sucked. Revenge of the like Fifth. Oh, what'd you think of what'd you think of episode nine? <laughs> it was a lot better than the rest of the trilogy. Oh. At this point I'm kinda just trying to trigger Jose Josue, but he, you know, he's uh He's looking for your episode sixty nine. I right? think you're triggering more if you call him Jose. I know, right? <laughs> I think you skipped sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then this is episode like ninety three. You never had a 69? No, we had a... You stopped at episode 55, then you started Mindless Horror Podcast uh, Appreciation Month, but didn't add a number to those. Oh. Oh. I don't know yeah, where we're at, man. We one. could be already at 100, and we don't even know. Episode 56. You, you, well, okay. You're going to have to go through it. Well, hold you? on. Now, I know the title goes really long with those podcasts, so did you check? Did I, get, I think you actually click on the video to see what oh, episode number. That. It says episode 19 for our Scare Actor Appreciation. Hold line. on, hold on. I got a... Okay, 74. Oh, okay. Oh, oh you put... So you put... Ep- oh, oh, so you put... Okay. So, yeah, because Scare Actor Appreciation Month was going to be originally its own thing, and then we're like, well, let's just make it part of the podcast since we haven't done yeah. a podcast. Oh, we're almost there. So it's going to be a Scare Actor. Uh-huh. Who wins? Who's who's the scare? <laughs> the continuity <laughs> errors in the and the NOA. What? No, this makes no sense. <laughs> Not a thing, nothing on this oh, channel. Oh, okay. We just found Knights of Horror doesn't know how to count. Boom, bro. Oh, also, right. look at my channel. And I also don't know how to spell. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, I don't know how to spell. Did you find you didn't make that channel art. Missing I in Knights of Horror. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I barely. Someone actually, a content creator actually pointed that out to me last night. That it shows, and that's been up for about a couple months now. It right there. There's no I in Knights of Horror. There and I still haven't changed it yet because I've just been lazy. The, yeah, I, fixed, I fixed it in the in the app. I fixed it. I just haven't uh, transferred it to my computer yet. Uh, uh, yeah. in the app. Fixed in the app. Yeah. Uh, Canva. Okay, what's what's an app? Canva. Uh, so how you guys been during these? Yeah, times? how y'all doing? How you, you holding up? <laughs> Having a conversation about that before we went on the air, man, it was. I was yeah. like, I don't care. So we were talking specifically about Disneyland because uh-huh. we were talking about you know they probably will now won't even open till January. Um, yeah, did you see that? That um, there's a news source that's talking. UBS of Disney is saying it's not safe to open until like january of 20 but those have been yeah or, reports yeah. news reports have been like that for for a couple of until weeks. until i actually hear it from the company itself yeah right? exactly well close until further notice how about that that's oh, yeah that. that's what they put on their statement so <laughs> yeah, i mean exactly. i'm gonna go off that do both of y'all have like disney passes yeah he, yes yeah. yeah did y'all call make sure to like you know extend your pass I have sammy to was that. telling me otherwise so i was listening to sammy now i'm hearing something new <laughs> You need Sammy to, uh, was telling me that payments are paused. Yeah. Yes, yes. So that until well, you explain it, Sammy, because I don't. You said it. I'm not gonna. Explain yeah, they're not gonna something. resume monthly payments until they open the park. Absolutely. Um, and then your contract is gonna be back. Nope. So there's no? two options. Not now. by default. There's two not options. Not by yeah. default. Yeah. Ah. Um, by default, yes, you will, it's pausing monthly uh, payments, and then uh, they will continue when the park's open, but your expiration date is, is still, still the your same. expiration date. See what I mean? It's like, I'm going to have to pay all this fucking money. Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Unless you call, and then you will, like, the remaining months you have left on your pass right now will continue with uh, when the park's open up again. How long do you have to call? Oh, like I was on, I was on for hold an for an hour. hour, but hey, you know what? But but the you... hardest decisions require the strongest wills. Okay, no, 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 no. so I had to I, do. I it. Mean, until how long do you have? <laughs> until like so like for me, I got my pass in January, right? Okay. So then I paid for February, and then March it was rescinded, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So, so I have, have March, March, April, April May, June, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. So I have a whole month. year. Yeah. I essentially have a whole year that once the park opens up again, then I'll start paying. But with this year's, because next year it's going to be exponentially <laughs> and the prices are more expensive be, yeah. for a pass. 
That doesn't surprise yeah. me one bit. Yeah. So I want. <laughs> I'm to not surprised one. I bit. want to continue to pay my already same, outrageous yeah. prices now than the even more outrageous prices. But you know what? Anywhere. I'll say this because the person I am and how stupid I am, because of Avengers Campus, I'm gonna pay that price. Well, but you don't yeah. have to pay that price if you make the call. If or, you make yeah, the call, you don't have to pay those. Just stay on the phone for an hour, and then and then they'll I tell have you like you're good. A month left, and then you could yeah, you could call. I don't know if my expiration date has come up though. Uh, uh, I, I think I, like I passed. Well, Sammy's March. Sammy's was gonna expire in what March? Yeah, March thirty first. March thirty like, first. Yeah. So then it's uh, expired by now. Uh, I mean, you could call, I guess. And see. Well, he didn't, but he did. They didn't take that last payment out from him still. Oh so. yeah, because it was they the took last, the last month. payment for me. Oh well, then you call. Yeah, you call and say, "Hey, I want that extra month." <laughs> I want you to call right now on the podcast. I want to hear everything. I want to hear credit card. Open. Our call it is just—it's so, gonna be just music. That's it. So long. You're They're not to... open. They only open Monday through Friday, I believe. That's true. Yeah. Now it's it's Saturday. I yeah. No, I still I still need to make the call. May 31st was your expiration? Boy, you've got like three months on your pass. You better call. May yeah, 31st? Right is is, the, is get, it May next get, month? Yeah, no, they, get March, April, and May. <laughs> you get three months if you make this no, call. I Yeah, I think I mine did. expires in June, so yeah, I'll probably have some. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to call. Why pay for Avengers Campus when already? So you, Okay, so June, right? So that's four months, right? It was announced in March that it was going to be opening four months later. Okay, so your pass will probably not expire before Avengers Campus opens up again. So instead of, you know, paying extra, why don't you just make the damn call and then you can have those extra four months? Where is this podcast going? <laughs> Wait, so I have, I have a question. You and all the viewers. How about yeah. that? Instructional how-to guy. Before you know, viewers, if you have a pass, call. Call. Call, exactly. call everyone. I, I feel like it's probably like that for other people. You just really have to... Paul and oh, see, I don't huh? know about that. We don't, don't really have that. Uh, yeah. I've yeah. been looking forward to this all week. This is like the, what I've been waiting for all week. Oh, cool. right here we go. We well, I have a question. I have a question for TLEV. I don't know what you guys' economic uh, model, um, you know, proficiency is. So, do you think with the demand de- okay. <laughs> with the demand decreasing, do you think the pot the price will still increase at Disneyland? Oh, well, the demand is decreasing now because there is no demand right now, right? But once they open we'll up open again, up. oh boy, yeah, everyone's so, going to be willing to pay those yeah, prices. So what, what we're looking at right now is now potential demand, right? Now we're looking at like, what is the possibility of there actually being a demand, right? So we see all these YouTubers, right? You see all these TikToks of like, hashtag Disney at home, right? So it seems like, oh, there is that People demand. miss their Disney. People yes. want their Disney. But how many of those people are going to be rushing to the park as soon as they And I'll open? tell you, and I'll tell you, thousands of people. So, because so. American people can be very dumb and love to live in the present. So but that's, that's funny you bring that up. up again, they're going to go rushing to the parks. They're like, oh, I'm doing it right because now. Because I feel it might be the quite opposite. It could be. Uh, dude, could be. I feel, yeah, I feel people have this. Right Do you see how many people are going to the beach right now because they've been opened up? Yeah, yeah. No, I, and I agree on that front, but I feel yes. that since <laughs> with this virus going on, yeah, I mean, it actually, yeah, there's a lot of people that miss a lot of things, and there's a lot of people that want to do all these things and go back to all these things, but there's also a lot of people out there that are very scared right now, yeah, well, because sure. of this. So, I feel if they were to open their doors anytime soon, there is, there is the you know, there is the chance it's probably going to be packed, but. At the same time, there's that same chance that there's people going to be probably not wanting to go be around that many people as well. Well, look, so, I don't, I don't, so, wait, 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 they didn't care that the, the virus was already, already going there, around. Yeah. They did not care whatsoever. <laughs> All I know is there are Disney vloggers right now practicing surfing. Um, so, there you go. The, <laughs> ocean, the ocean is not safe. Well, it's not. It's I don't not go safe. to the ocean because one movie, and that's Jaws. Ah, <laughs> ah well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce is in the damn freaking water, and he will kill John. all of us. You were saying, Jose, yeah. you were... My buddy John, I, we've talked about You don't John. remember? Uh, you uh, said you were agreeing with me that it would be 
everyone would be bum rushing. Yeah, but that wasn't what I was gonna. You were gonna say something else. No, no. The next question um, on my economic discoveries with TLEV. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's got a degree in it, so he can go all day. There you go. Um, because um, most people's funny. pay has been cut, um, you know, experiencing loss in hours or loss of employment, you think I'm going to still be able to afford to go to Disneyland, given that's outlandish prices? People like <laughs> so... funny money. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. The same, there are credit, credit cards get that get exist, and up. people Did love... Yeah. So I got five got Disney got dollars. Are those worth anything true. anymore? People <laughs> love to pretend they got the money. And if they could go to the happiest place on earth and not have to look to the, at their credit card until a month later, they're gonna do that. And that's why, we like will I be said, in a depression. people love to live in the <laughs> present. Okay, they don't think about the future. Hype man, right there. All right, people love to live in the present. The hype man. So I got a question now. Let's swap over to the uh, Hollywood theme park, which is Universal Studios. Are they doing the same thing? I don't know. We don't know. Well, today I was supposed to be running 5K. Uh, <laughs> dude, all of us. Today, today was trolls. trolls. Today, today was trolls. Today was, today was trolls. We oh, were... so wait, you were going to run this 5K as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we were all going to dress up. No, <laughs> okay, let's be honest. Let's be more real. Are you going to run it or are you going to walk it? Because I would have walked it. <laughs> hey, you're going to walk it, yeah. You're going to be dressed as Tiny Diamond. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yo, my name is Tiny Diamond. <sighs> yep, exactly. Freaking, uh, we were going to, yeah. Rest in peace, Whoville. Oh, yes, uh, rest in peace, Whoville. Yeah. I know. I'll happen. never be able to run by Whoville ever again. That's, yeah. That makes me sad. It's sad. Now, so. They better not do the same with the base motel because I'll stab somebody. That, I don't think they will because I think that's more iconic. That's more, I think it's a historical yeah, landmark right. at this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. So Josue and Tim both think that you know it's not gonna happen. Like, yeah, they're gonna they're not gonna touch base motel. I'm pretty sure that it's the beginning of like totally redoing that area just because. Uh, Mr. Economics, uh, the fact that there is such a demand now for all the sound stages, right? You have you have a backup of production for the television, so for NBC, for ABC, all the movies that are using those sound stages, there's a finite number of sound stages. So what do they got to do? They got to make more sound stages. So what I'm thinking is that Whoville being removed is now going to be like the beginning of like building more sound stages. But like Josue pointed out. Um, that was just a partial set of Whoville because the actual Whoville in the movie was made in a soundstage. So, but Bates Motel, that's the actual set. So would they go as far as to remove uh, the Bates home? Probably not. The motel? Ooh, uh. man, but they, dude, see, Thomas says, again, like he's, he's saying that it's going to be a... Uh, the soundstage that yeah. I just think there's not enough, enough room. space, yeah. And the landscaping, it goes into a <laughs> mountain. Like, yeah, it's like on so it. room. It'd be, it'd be the weirdest yeah. soundstage ever built. I don't Air tram featured in a soundstage. I just don't understand why. I just don't understand why. No, I, you know, I don't think they will take away the base motel because that is very a historical well, maybe, location. So is Whoville? Well, maybe no. Not nearly really as mean, much as freaking the base motel. All the buildings? Styrofoam. Maybe the styrofoam was just getting old it, and, and it hit by the, getting, and getting hit really by the freaking sun. Looked, it was it just like ugly. There you go. It was ugly. It so was showing big. Just maybe they, years, yeah, yeah, maybe they're just fixing it up. Right now. Right. Or maybe it's just like I ah, gotta go. The, the pile of debris does not look oh, like oh. it. Just fix it. Oh, really? now, would you be would you be upset if they said we're gonna demolish the Bates area but we're gonna remodel it because all the stuff is old? Would you be mad about that? No, yeah. I wouldn't. Like, I remodel what? The Bates Motel? That. Like, oh, they just like they're gonna paint it and stuff? They're, no, they're gonna demolish it all, but rebuild it because it looks like the wood is all like. Oh, but then up. that's not the original yeah. Bates Motel. Well, look, my, my thing is they <laughs> used the Bates Motel for horror nights, yeah. right? Everybody's had their fingers touching the Bates Motel. Mm. You know, that whole place isn't. I've what had it more than my fingers. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Is that, is that it's been <laughs> used and used and used? So you I know. feel like it. <laughs> if they remake it, I'd be fine with it. And it's because, you know, that's just the nature of Hollywood. But, but, like, Big Fat Liar, that's, that's mm. the same you as... Can't the right. You can't outrun the wolf. Right, you can't There's not, there's not... <laughs> yeah, we'll there's see about that. ...in that area. <laughs> Only Lady Gaga and, uh, what's his, and, uh... Lady Gaga? What the hell is she doing she, back there? She used that water thing for a music video. <laughs> Oh, so that Sam, how you doing? You're doing what? great. The flood? <laughs> oh, the flood! No, I'm talking about like in Big Fat Liar. You see, oh. um, you see Bates Motel. Oh, oh. 
So I was like, it's 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 like it's well, there it's in the movie, so that's yeah. all. We need. <laughs> No. It's in the movies. So me and Sammy are now guests on the Picky Brain <laughs> podcast. Well, that's just... Yeah, that's exactly, yeah. exactly what happens. Let's just, just flip the switch real quick. There you go. That's why when we have like actual guests on, we're gonna have to like oh, really beautiful. try to stay on. Yeah, on. It's topic. just mostly about pretty much having a <laughs> man. You should have seen the podcast. Be like okay, today, today, oh today we were supposed to talk about one thing, and then I was like, no, guys, I just. Talk about <laughs> <one thing. laughs> And then I was like, guys, I watched Hereditary. And then we spent oh, you did. And what you think? Yeah. Oh, I, I really Better than Midsummer, that. right? I haven't seen Midsummer yet. Don't. You're going to waste <laughs> it's, it's a waste of time. No, I. No, no, do I it. Do it. Watch it. fear from, from Hereditary. Yeah, you won't feel Dude, like I was like, when I was watching, I was so close to like, like water just rushing through my eyes because I was that afraid. The Damn. first time watching it. I, 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 don't think, I don't think it helped that we were, I was watching it around like 3 a.m. also. No, that's the best That's the best time to watch that oh, movie. Oh, sure, for sure. 3 a.m. Yeah, and then I watched it a second time, and I'm like, that's a good movie. That's a good movie. What about, oh, all, the freaking, uh, what about all the naked people standing around the house that night? Yeah, that was creepy. That was real yeah. creepy. Or there's, a of, there's a lot sure. of hidden stuff in that movie. That yeah. director is known for that kind of shit. He, he did really well. Um, did you know the, do you know the band Arcade Fire? Uh, yes. Man. They uh their like saxophonist is the one who made the music for Hereditary. Huh. What a freaking a saxophonist. Geez. A saxophonist went I'm gonna make some creepy ass shit. <laughs> so if you like to watch uh, naked people standing around, you should watch Midsummer. <laughs> no, I see yeah, now, now you're gonna like don't watch it. I'm like, okay, am I gonna be wasting my time is that one? So oh. No, I'd say watch it once at least, just to kind it's of like Wolf of Wall Street. Oh my what? god, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's it's worse. It's somehow worse. It's so so you really worse. think uh, you, think, uh, you uh, thought <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street was bad? No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. I was about to say I'm about to slap all of you for that. Oh. The nudity and the sex in Wall Street is nothing compared to that scene in Midsummer. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of enjoyed that Margot Robbie. Never mind. Let's just not talk about that right now. <laughs> so, That's getting cut out. Coke out the butt. Mm. I started playing the stocks yesterday. Oh, yeah? Been... <laughs> yeah. How's that going? What? Uh, I don't know. It's not going well yet. But, you know, hopefully... It's on our show, okay? <gasps> All right. So, yeah, sure something that. I do want to talk about. What do you want to talk yes, about? Please. And there was a video that you guys just released recently that I was featured in, which was an awesome, very well put together video. Um, was featured in that video? Very it's good. Uh, video. A very good, very good uh, series. Are you guys going to be continuing to do that series? Yes, we are, sir. Yes, we are. The LED now, anything? We are. We are planning on doing the same thing with scare actors. Nice. Other creators, um, and also fans. We're thinking of reaching out to people. Let's, yeah, let's not well, say we'll it. think let's, about that. Let's yeah. just say when we say creators, we're talking not just like content YouTube creators, creators yeah. but content creators. Not me. So we're okay. So I just want to. I want to ask. I want to start some turmoil. Where was I? Where was my ask? I know you didn't oh, ask Sammy. I'm we scared. asked the Knights of Horror. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's, you, y'all, that's gotta, not, y'all gotta figure that who's out. Who's the Knights of Horror? Exactly. <laughs> who's in charge of the Knights of Horror account? Why is there only one photo of Zaragoza on there and there's Sammy nowhere on there? That's not true. Look at our Twitter picture. Uh, no, I'm looking at the Wait, isn't Instagram. There, isn't there a third Knights of Horror now? Oh, yeah, yeah. What's this about? New member. Did you make a member yet? Oh, we can talk about it now because that video is pretty much out. Um, is it? It's out. Yeah, it's out. It came so, out Wednesday. Who is it? Uh, this is Friday. Oh, We're yeah. in the future. Um, his name is Logan. Um, no one... I guess only like a, a, a certain amount of audience of people who would actually know him know him, but he is a uh, guitar player from a tribute band that I've seen many times called Made in USA, who are pretty popular. Um, he ironically was a fan of the channel. Uh, and he commented on a bunch of videos, and we started talking a lot uh, through Messenger. And um, the guy probably knows more horror than all of us combined. Whoa. And 
know, take him to war. It doesn't take much. I mean, yeah. Uh, no, I, but I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to like. Yeah, I'd say you're, you're lying out your ass. But <laughs> That's I true. Mean, no, we're okay. Lord, yeah, we're not. We're not. Because on Knights of Horror, you can finally release the the cussing and everything. You know. There's there's a reason why. Okay, it says TLV horror, but it's it's not like you know dead meat where it's like this straight up. Now, I don't know if he's on dead meat movie. Like, he knows everything about horror movies. No, but, but this guy was telling me stuff that like he's like, have you seen this Italian filmmaker? And all I'm like, you know, shit oh, from other country. No, like, like, he, goes, he goes like to the roots of. Deep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Logan, cool. so Logan, so Logan is he's he coming on and he's gonna make. I'm gonna compare him, and this guy knows his knowledge, like he knows his shit. And even I'm like, fuck, I need to step up my game. Well, he'll, yeah, he'll we saw you. The ways. We saw you what, as you were commenting on Forrest's video. Yeah, you gotta know your stuff. You don't even know the basics <laughs> of Scary Farm. I mean, come on, what's going on here? <laughs> you want you to? St- I don't know if I was. No, he wasn't talking about scary from. He was talking about uh, oh, uh, horror nights. Uh, that's right in uh, Orlando. He said Orlando. No, he wasn't Orlando even him. Stuff. I don't study Orlando he stuff. I live here in Los Angeles. I'm gonna know <laughs> Hollywood or <laughs> Orlando. That's true. Well, you gotta know where it's started. Every year in Orlando, then I brush up on my Orlando history. Oh, for but... sure, for sure, I gotcha. Well, that's that's what right. Is yeah. Orlando? We can talk about knots. Is Orlando? Even you want to talk about knots? What about knots? <laughs> I'm just saying, if you want to talk about scary, uh, they got the berry fun. market open now. So I know, pull the drive-through. Yeah, uh, get our fudge on. I don't get it. Get your fudge on. There you go. Stay home. Let's try it. Just saying. Fudge. Okay, but I don't want to touch. I want to touch or try anybody's fudge right now. Thanks. <laughs> very sick-minded. Oh my, very sick-minded. Oh my! You're saying you're sick, man. Okay, bro. Zara goes that shit. This is like an episode of Harry Potter right now. We're just gonna call each other by our last names. Harry Potter as a chef. I was gonna say that's it's, right. It's episodic. Yeah, it is very episodic. Yeah. The roast session has begun. Roast session. Is... <laughs> you don't talk about roast session, man. These guys fucking last last week on their channel put up a vlog about yeah. the try not to get scared challenge championship. <laughs> Ah, you watched. Good. Yeah. That's that's hilarious, boys. You got that nice little toy there. But did you did you hear what you? Oh, did, he had it prepared. Ah, <laughs> right here. Yeah, yeah. Now it's one one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. One, I mean, one. we still haven't paid for any belts, so who's the real winner? <laughs> replica right here, man. The three hundred dollar <laughs> replica right here. He won it. He won it. Well deserved. I mean, in in all. Fairness, I'm looking at a $300 Mjolnir, so that's fine. You want a $300 bell, $300 Mjolnir, it's fine. Mjolnir. There's a $300 Mjolnir I'm looking at. I got a Mjolnir, too. It's like an actual, like someone who made like a one-for-one replica, every detail, like aluminum, it's like 15 pounds, and I'm like, yeah. I don't know if I would take that to Avengers Campus, though, because like, carrying around something like that. (laughs) That's called a weapon. Yeah, Yeah, that's that's a a weapon, (laughs) All I know I is when Avengers Campus opens up, we're gonna yell like Thor yelled at the end of Endgame when he goes to battle. That's how that's how we're gonna yell. Oh, you're gonna be rushing in like that? Yeah, and then just rush in, and then I'm thinking about bringing a gauntlet actually, to be honest. Yeah, I mean you and I'm just happy world, it's but... not it's not gonna be happening when I'm. Gone. I got both of them. I can wear one on each end. I'm happy about. Do you just rush in with both? Just like yeah. <laughs> Are they both Sway notes. Handed? No. The gauntlets both are not left-handed. Nope. No, they're one's right, one's left. Hulk we did that on purpose. Hulk puts on his right, no. yeah. Hulk Hulk on on his right hand. hand. What? Yes. Yeah. Right, I need they that. did that on purpose specifically for marketing. Oh, that, <laughs> that would make sense. So you can wear one on each hand if you bought both. Oh, because he's like, yeah, because he's yeah, like, yeah. holding it. Yeah. Like, yeah. And he's got the sleeve. He's like, ha. Ah. Yeah. When, Remember when, when he, his, and his arms when he all knocks, and yeah, stuff, when yeah. he when he slaps the guy <laughs> he slaps with his right arm. That's right. Okay. Yeah. All the same. Yeah. No, or just, no. He needs to get back to. Uh, don't you worry, child. Okay, show Keep me. talking, boys. Right. I'll pull no, it up. No, I'm not. All sure. I'm saying is, other than Avengers Campus, I am a fighting champ. So. You are. Other than Avengers Campus, we that, took that, we that, took 2017. <laughs> 18. That's, that's, Sir, it. that's a WWE belt. That doesn't say, uh, you know, try, try not, not to get scared. scared. Yeah, I don't want the WWE belt, too. <laughs> I, I, you know, I know. If you're going to spend $300, why don't you spell one that's, like, custom made that says, like, well, right Okay, so let's, let's, let's take this back a little bit, okay? I bought this before we even started that. <laughs> yeah, uh, there we go. Okay. 
because I'm just a so fan. So he was never willing to, to, to lose. Yeah, let's go back even further. My cousin went to WrestleMania 31, bought one of these, but they charged him for two and sent him two. Never got his refund for the second one, even though he was going to take it back. So it stayed in my mom's closet for like a year, and then I found it. I stole it from him because he never came and got it back. And then eventually he asked for money for it, so I paid him. <laughs> You're right. I believe. How long do you have to wait if you? But I can get us a real good one for like one seventy nine, custom made. Like by law, like if it. Put Sammy's face on. Look! 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 Right like that. hand, mofo. <laughs> That'd be funny, right, Sammy? Yeah. Be just scared. Have name, just have your face on the side place of you getting scared. Oh, that's actually a pretty good idea. So We're gonna time, do that. So next time, is Sammy going to be part of this? Since he no, is a horse. Logan will be part of it. Okay. All right. Does Does Logan get scared easily? Logan has been going to the event since 2009. I don't know if he gets scared though. Uh, yeah. So this guy, uh, he still <laughs> starts yelling blueberries. So okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm look, terrified. Was I the reason we lost? No, I was the reason we lost. No way. <laughs> I think it the was reason you lost was because someone got scared in uh, All Hallows. It was the East. scare zone. Uh, that was, I think that was you. I was trying to warn you. It, it was, was the ghillie was, suit. Because he came from behind. He passed me, and I was going to say, damn. But he got to you right before. And I went, it was like a slow motion. Oh. <laughs> and I felt no, but. Yeah, because it was tied 1 1 for most of it. I'm just saying. Yeah. There's multiple events out there, so titles can change. Uh, it doesn't have to be limited to one event. Uh, hey, Zaragoza, can you whistle? Yeah, why? All right, just just one thing. Th that's a random Stop. question. <laughs> Stop, I get it. I get it. I don't get it. It's fine. Please, I got a money in the bank briefcase if you guys want to cash that in. What? There's a money briefcase? No, there's a money in the bank briefcase, bro. You know, cash that in for a title opportunity. WWE. Anytime, I anywhere. I know what that is, but why does he have it? Because I'm a fan! Because he's ready to cash it in, bro. I'm yeah, offering it to you guys so you can cash it in. That's a good thing. So is that the belt we're using all the time now? What happened? <laughs> is that the belt we're Where? using all the time? Where's the It is until... <laughs> so... I found a website that custom makes belts for 179 which is actually a really good price, and you can put anything you want on it. So... I want to custom make a, like a white belt with our Why's logos it on white? it. Huh? Why is it going to be white? Because yeah. the Intercontinental Championship is white, and that's a badass fucking belt. Oh, okay. So you're going to put like the Universal Globe on it? No, you get it doesn't even have Universal. I mean, it could be because if, we, if we're going to go multiple haunts. Yeah, that's true. It could be he, he wants to do Knots and, and all the other, and Dark Harbor. Oh, try not to get scared challenge at Dark Harbor. No, try not to get scared challenge at a Haunted Hayride, dude. Oh, you really want to yeah. do this right. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. I have fun there. Dark Harbor. No, no. Haunted Hayride. Mm. There we go. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking downy yeah, time. Yeah, come on, man. But bring glasses this time. So you won't get blind. Oh, Roadkill Ranch. All right. Okay. Roadkill Ranch. That was a, that was the scariest maze, bro. That, that was was one was the worst. Maze Listen. Ever. Okay, from what I've heard, we just had a bad run of it. For the rest of the season, it actually really? got a lot. I don't know, champ. Who, yeah, who when we, when we left, we saw people going into the same pile of doo-doo that we yeah, okay, well, Look at the audience that night. Everyone only bought the one ticket just to go to the hayride because that line was fucking packed. No one thought that we got we all got free we tickets all got free from summer. <laughs> one that went that night, not us, but I'm talking about uh, the general audience that went that night. Yeah, the general audience is people that got free tickets. <laughs> <laughs> that night, but if you don't think I didn't hey, share that, hey, code, if you don't think we didn't share the code via <laughs> text message and Snapchat, send, send, send. Line, make, that code worked for an entire week, my guy. Yeah, <laughs> there were no lines for the mazes. There was lines for Hera. Yeah, Hera was good. Yeah, Road Hera Hera was good. Roadkill Ranch. I'm at the Hayride. Everybody seemed to not like it. I yeah. enjoyed it. Well, I know some people who went through some bad runs of the hayride. Like, some of the truckers didn't know when to stop, so they it, kept going. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's characters. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> so, that happens, I guess. I guess there are bad nights like that. You can't just, like, throw it in reverse. And just, Hold on. <laughs> oh, sorry. 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 That's great. They just kept going. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like imagine that's that. Like, that would have been now that no, would have been like, in, no. in comparison to to twenty eighteen, I really enjoyed uh the haunted hayride for like you no know, the 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 hay was way more comfy. <laughs> there was like an actual succinct story. Um I yeah, I enjoyed it. That last year? Yeah, last year was good. Last year was twenty nineteen, yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, what's your thought yeah, about Mick Summary? What do you guys think is going to happen to the event? Still going to be. Cool. Um, <laughs> Remember this well, I've been I've been kind of so, checking up on Rick West, see how he's doing, because I know these are tough times, and that's he's one fine, of the. Don't worry. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Want to talk shit? <laughs> Want to go there? No, but you were saying you were saying go yeah, ahead. Saying. No, but I I I I'd like to check up on him every now and then. He was really nice to us when we did the podcast, so just want to check up on him, see how he's doing, and. I think he just said they're just taking a day to day right now. Yeah. We don't know what yeah. will happen by the time July comes around. Um, I'm scared, man. <laughs> and especially, I mean, what scared me the most was finding out Comic Con got canceled. Right. And that's a pretty that's big a fucking week convention. Before, right? yeah. yeah, that's like the week before. It's a big convention. That, that spans like five days now. But that was, and... that was not all the like, health organizations came together and were like shut down Comic Con. Sammy, just give up. There's no more drink in there. <laughs> yeah, Sammy, it's. it's Kind of like we hear Sarah goes in and out because like yeah when I go fuck it just open the <laughs> cup and drink it. I'll just drink water then. All right, yeah, there. Water. <laughs> Tim. All right. He got his water. But uh. Um, no, but yeah, I I'm. The day thing by day, too. I was, I was talking. You were saying, what were you saying? That, like things. that the World Health See? Organization. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, that yeah. the, like I had heard is that a bunch of like World Health Organizations came together and were like, hey. Well, there's only one World Health Organization. Well, it was different. Like it was then. Different organizations. Different organizations came together. And were like you need to shut down Comic Con because it's not gonna happen. Now, to be fair, Comic Con is this good. This good. Giant. It's a much bigger than Midsummer. Now, I don't think. You know, all the organizations in the world are going to come together to stop Midsummer. No, but one of them. But will Midsummer? <laughs> <laughs> will, will Midsummer itself, you know, stop? stop well, it. knowing knowing so, Rick West and seeing what he posts and stuff like that, he really believes in like people staying in right now and yeah, believes yeah. in the safety of everyone. So if it comes to that point, I think they would, you know, no, either I, I, I'm not postpone like, but or just let it. And go. And a PSA warning: Do not. Ingest Clorox products. Oh my god, what? yeah. Did you not see that stuff? That's what's going on now? People are damn it. People are ingesting that <laughs> Extra bleach, I'm sorry. From That's the new thing now. Our, our... You thought Tide Pods were bad. Did, that, did you not see the interview said, from, from, from the president? <laughs> cure your uh, the coronavirus. He That's said he said. looked at an actual health official, He's like, and he this? claims it was the press. And I don't get very political on this channel, no. but he claims he was talking to the press. He looked at a health official and said, "And is it possible we can do a way where we can uh, ingest some uh, Clorox stuff for you know?" That, he looked right? at him like, "Are you a fucking idiot? Like seriously?" Like, and that's where I think it was wrong because that health uh, that health director should have like just been like, "No, stop." stop. <laughs> but instead, was just like. <laughs> I think he was just so shocked yeah, at the shock at that the... question that he was just like, did he really just say that? No, but it's like, so now, yeah. so when I stop drinking bleach, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get back on the bandwagon. There you go. Nah, nah, I have to be a going back. Going back to Midsummer Scream. Yes. I feel it, so. This is you gotta look at Comic Con. You gotta look at Midsummer Scream. Comic Con will pack people to shoulder to shoulder, and they will fucking disobey fire marshal laws and codes. Comic Con is massive. <laughs> However, Midsummer Scream, according to Rick West, you know he wants to make the convention comfortable for everyone, where you can actually enjoy it and walk around and not have to worry about that shoulder to shoulder. Um, I don't know. As press, I'm pretty stressed out because I want to get everything. <laughs> so yeah, but it's people like us. It's a whole different story because we're there to freaking film everything. Yeah, but it's a person who's just a horror fan that just shows up to just enjoy the convention and just to go. He wants to make it so you're not freaking constantly shoulder to shoulder with everyone walking down up and down uh, vendors and and mm -hmm. the yeah. shadows and which it compared to Comic Con, really look at the difference when you see a Comic Con crowd. It's yeah. bad. Well, it's, and also, Comic-Con's got um, a lot of international people that come yeah. across for that because it's just such a big-name thing to do. You know, you've got people from Asia that come, Europe, 
all of those areas that are in complete lockdown right now, and they don't seem to be changing at any point now. And I, I think that's why. And I don't think Midsummer gets that many people international. Maybe they get some people. Maybe I don't know, but I think then again, Comic Con's been around for fifty plus years. Yeah, well, yeah, that's why. That's why I'm saying like it's, it's built its name already, and that's why there's so many people from everywhere. I genuinely believe that Midsummer Scream will still happen. I do too. I genuinely believe that the theme parks will open up again in August. I genuinely believe there will still be an HHN this year. Yeah, I don't care about HHN. I want not scary farm. Oh, and that's why you'll never get press. <laughs> Not if you're watching, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying, you know. I I've already accepted the fact that I'm probably never gonna get press for it. I've already accepted uh, that. What? So I I would I would much rather defend my backyard theme park, not Scary Farm, because they put on a fucking hell of a great event, and I have a fun. I had a fun time last year. Yes, last year was a last year was cool. Especially meeting so many people that we did like. Yeah. It was just a, a great experience, and I would love to build that relationship with Knots. I would love to uh, eventually pick up where TPA left off. Wow. I'm not That's saying bold. anything about TPA. Wow. I think we made that okay. channel unique, though. Hey, hey. Big dreams. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have big dreams, we'll too. We made that you channel so you can show he got... Sometimes, yes, but... You do. He you got to go... Not- stage and film like scare actor school and stuff like that which i thought was fucking awesome like you don't get to see that at a lot of places i would love to do that one day for sure you know i mean rick west did something great with that channel and i just want to really not just me but for all horror content creators keep that just keep that going Uh, yeah no, that's that's cool. I mean, yeah, if you that if that's your big goal, dude, keep going for it. Just don't try to be TPA. Always be NOH. Never I'm NOH be TPA. The day I die. I got a tat it on my body. Did you really? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your reactions though was hilarious. At what point would you get that? Yeah, exactly. On your body? Let's say a hundred thousand. He's like hundred thousand. About a reasonable time where you can actually <laughs> somewhat go full time. No, on YouTube. for sure. I mean, you could basically make a living off of. Okay. If you had a hundred thousand, that's a living right there. But I think I would still keep my other job because of the benefits. So, you know. There you go. That's just thinking smart. You but if benefits? you're at a hundred thousand, now you're gonna be more recognized, and you're gonna be seen everywhere, and you're gonna be followed by creeps. I mean, they can come to my work. I don't care. There's not much. There's nothing fun at my work anyway. So they can probably make the night fun. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Next topic. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, creep shows up to my work, not clickbait. Uh, exactly. It's just. <laughs> oh, Sway, what's going on, buddy? You haven't talked very much at all. Let's give you some talking opportunity. He was trying to drink water. Okay. Water. And I'm parched. Drink your water. There you go. You guys have special mugs for it today? Uh, we do. Well, we it's, it's the one we use all the time. Yeah. It's our Palace Arcade. From one Stranger Things season two. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's nothing. The cup. <laughs> you know, I, I've been chilling, man. Just you know, taking it day to day. Um, you know, getting to come over here and film when when I get the chance. But other than that, I've just been stuck at home watching movies. I just bought Rise of Skywalker. I saw uh, that. I didn't know it came out on Blu-ray. That's how uninformed I am right now because of all this. <laughs> yeah, I did a target run for essential stuff, and then I was like, yep, Rise of Skywalker. This is very <laughs> essential. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm about Boo Freak. It is. Uh, hey, hey, you know, and then, uh, yeah, I've just pretty much been at home. Would you hate me if I said I don't like him? Babu Freak? Yeah. He's the best part of Rise of Skywalker. We already so. have this differ- difference between us with uh, The Last yeah. Jedi. We've talked about it many times. Yeah, yeah, so... Your, At this point, your, your opinions are your opinions. My opinions are my opinions. That's because you like the Last Jedi, huh? I, I do like the Last Jedi, but we're not going to talk about that here. We're not going to talk about. That. No. I will say though, he that director did redeem himself a lot with Knives Out. Knives Out was to good. me, at least. I Knives Out was good. I will just say Knives this out. final thing, and then we'll move on. Final thing. <laughs> After seeing this new trilogy, it should never have existed. All right, let's go. Let's go. What's the next topic? 
yeah, but um like Mandalorian awesome. season two, where you at? I'm waiting. Uh, Mandalorian. Season oh, Mandalorian! Two. I thought you said Elizabeth Warren season two. Where you at? <laughs> Elizabeth Warren, two. where you Come at, soon. dog? <laughs> Mandalorian season two. That's what I want. Yeah. You know what I want? I want the last episodes of uh, Clone Wars to come out. Already. You know what I want? Yes, no, 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 no more. So no they're more. not cut up with Clone I'm, Wars. I'm so, on. So I'm so on season four right now. That's why. But these last few episodes of the amazing. Talk about what are we talking about? Nothing. Are you watching? Are you watching the Clone Wars right now? No. Okay. Good. Good. I know everything about it, so I mean, you can't tell me anything. Don't say anything because I'm not caught up yet, so that's why. Because one of my all-time favorite characters came back one season, I was like, "Oh shit!" And then I just fucking watched all the spoilers. Wait, Thomas, are you watching the Clone Wars? I'm watching the Clone Wars. I'm the only one who's up to date with. He's up to date. I'm on season four. I never went past the fact that they thought Jar Jar was a Jedi, and I was like, "Fuck this show!" And I just didn't continue watching. One of them, I thought it was a prequel, and you're against prequels. I thank you. I hate prequels. prequels. Yes. (laughs) And now somebody's telling me that this last season wraps into the actual movies, and I'm like. How how do I feel about that? It dim a dumb slap. I, so, I thought you, that's what when I Clone Wars is all about. It took place in between two and three. Seven. I'll join you for season no, seven. No, so Clone yeah. Wars is kind of like the filler in of the actual yeah. Clone Wars because we kind of see the beginning and the end of the Clone Wars, but <laughs> yeah, we never actually get to see the Clone Wars, which is what the show does. It shows us what happened. The Mega Wars. <laughs> I just, I just hate the fact that it like it continues the stupidity of like Padme and Anakin having to be like, oh yes, thank you, Senator. Oh, anything for you, Jedi. Well, you oh, only see that you only see that at the in the beginning seasons they kept doing that. Now it's like it's a dim dum. Oh, it's dub dub dub. It's dug dim dum. But the, the reason this last season, and I don't even want to say this last season intertwines with the movie. It's really these last four episodes that are, like, really, like, scenes from episode three are now making it into this episode, into these last episodes, and it's been intense. So, I feel like in that situation, my rule of, like, I don't care about prequels could be like, all right, because yeah. you love them. Because, like, yeah, I really like episode three. I mean, to me, I mean, episode it's, three... It's a good... It's a episode it's a three was my return to the Jedi, right? The fact that it was the... I end. have failed you, Anakin. I have failed you. Exactly. And so, and I really love that movie. Um, so, like, to see, like, I guess where they set up knowing where they end, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But, like, if the entire story was just, like, how Plo Koon um, met that one stormtrooper that shot him in the back, then I... I don't... I don't think I'd care. Poor man is defendable, sir. Not to me. <laughs> yeah, I'd, uh, I don't know. I don't watch it. So. Shut up, Placoon. Yeah. And what's the one with the, the heart on his head? Oh, Kid Ad Mundi. Or yeah. Kid... Ah, I can't remember. I can never say his name, but Kid Ad Mundi? Something like that. I like Kit Fisto because he has an underwater lightsaber, but apparently everybody has an underwater lightsaber in this new Clone Wars Oh, yeah, because he was watching TV an episode show. with me. And I was like, what? No, the whole thing is that Kit Fisto's the only one whose lightsaber works underwater. Yeah, but where was it written? It was written in the. That's first true. They never really. Wars I don't really remember them explaining like any lightsaber can't go underwater. Like they never really mention it or bring it up in the movies or anything. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not like saying it's a thing. I'm what just saying I've up? I've never heard it. I will take it up <laughs> with her, with George Lucas. Uh, Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni and J.J. Abrams. Oh, and Ron, and, not Ron Howard. And Ryan, Ron, Howard. Ron Howard and Ryan and Johnson. Ryan Johnson. J.J. Abrams fucks and up everything he touches. Yes. I'd watch, watch that. I'd, I'd watch that money in the thing. Yeah, I'd watch. Yeah, I'd want to talk to John Favreau because apparently he knew about force healing with I don't, uh, J. J. Abrams. I don't like. I don't like J. J. Abrams. He no. messes everything up. Oh, what well, did you see? J. 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 Abrams is, is making a Shining show for HBO Max. Isn't he also doing Justice League Dark as well for HBO Max? Something you guys like, didn't talk about on the podcast because it's horror. Yeah. I'm sorry, I got a Tiger guy the cage. This is a horror podcast. <laughs> He's having two. He's making two horror shows. J.J. Abrams. Interesting. Huh. Wait, did you still make? Wait, he's making. What did you say? Justice League Dark is coming yeah. to HBO Max. It's fun. So it's a. So he's making John that and The Overlook. Wow. Well, I think he's saying he better not fuck it up like he does everything. Well, else. bad robots. Is, 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 
What did he say? What did he say? Better not pick it up, Blackie fucked up everything else. Okay. JJ? <laughs> Star Trek is Star I don't like Star Trek to begin with, and it's Star Trek with ass. You didn't like Thor being the daddy to Kirk? No. Stupid. His whole Star Trek movies suck. The only good You didn't like Doctor Strange as yes as Khan? The only decent movie he did that was acceptable and I will watch is Cloverfield. And that's only the first one. Talk to me. I'd rather watch the Star Trek movies than Cloverfield. Actually, I like Cloverfield. You find yourself with <laughs> flares. Then watch well, Cloverfield. you really didn't like okay. Overlord? I'm just going through I'll, his movies. I'll now. agree. He that produced Cloverfield Overlord. He didn't direct it. He is a mofo. Yeah, I can't. But 10 Cloverfield Lane and Cloverfield Paradox you is did, You did tell me some good things about 10 Cloverfield Lane. But 10 Cloverfield just... Lane was psychologically weird, but it didn't get really good to like the last 10 minutes. I mean, yeah, but I mean, John Goodman in 10 Cloverfield Lane? Yeah, he's fucking ridiculous. Cool. I like John Goodman. I'll watch and anything with John Paradox was just like a fucking mind fuck. Yo, I was Paradox like, was so good, though. Yeah, no, it didn't get really good to like the last fucking two minutes of the movie. Oh, I, I thought the entire movie was amazing. I just like the fact that, like, they had an amazing, like, can you imagine, like, having a Super Bowl ad to just be like, hey, our movie's out. Bye. Yeah, right? It's coming real soon. I'm like, what does that mean? I go on Netflix. After coming right after the game. I was like, fuck, hurry up! There was general excitement when I, I saw... I mean, because here's the thing with Cloverfield is the sequel we were supposed to get... I guess that the monster we saw in Cro Cloverfield was the baby. Mm. Which, that's a pretty fucking big baby. So we were supposed to get the mom, which I'm assuming, and these are a lot of, there's a lot of spoilers going to be happening right now. I'm assuming it was at the end of Cloverfield Paradox. Yeah. That was the mom. Cloverfield Paradox for me also was a very trippy movie because I didn't know what was real and what wasn't. Right, right. And it doesn't get explained to like the very, very, very end. And I mean, like, they altered reality, but at the same time, like, everything on Earth is still the same. And it's like, are we talking Dr. Strange? The, yeah. Oh, I like this. The oh, thing like is, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how familiar you are with, uh, oh god, what are they called? N NGR mm -hmm. or something like that? Yeah, I know they did a lot of that for, I, I fucking did a ton of research for that for 10 Cloverfield Lane. Yeah, and the thing is, a and lot, how much do you remember? A lot of the <laughs> lot. story is told through that. Yeah. So, like, it's really only the supporters of Cloverfield and who have, you know, done the research, played the games, like, made all the connections, will you get the full story of Cloverfield? Yeah. And I feel like it's a lot of work. <laughs> For somebody who just wants to watch the three movies, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that was the thing with Cloverfield, which was a great marketing tactic for them, was they would show brief clips of, like, the party going on and then, a like, a, a really quick second of something going on disaster-wise in New York. And in order to find out more, you actually had to go on the website and try to uncover clues. Um, so that was really cool. But with 10 Cloverfield Lane, what was fun about that one was, of course, he the uh, John Goodman's character set up a fake website for his daughter so mm -hmm. he could communicate with her because the mom if you guys go back and really uh research it the mom didn't want john goodman talking to his daughter at all and yeah, that's why he really crazy, talks, dude. yeah he doesn't want it and that's why he talks about his daughter a lot throughout the movie um and you hear like you see like little things that happen with him and his daughter i think she i think she died right uh i believe so she died because they wanted to go to paris or something like that yeah so there he I made a so. fake he basically made a fake website, and he, he made certain areas of that website where you actually had to click to get to a chat room. And that chat room actually had notes and, and letters written to his daughter, hoping that his daughter would find those. And they were really like – because his mom – the I guess the mom didn't want any communication with the – she didn't want him, her to communicate with her dad at all. So he made this kind of room to kind of try to chat. And the letters are kind of depressing because he's like just really worried about her, and he just misses her. Mm -hmm. um, which really – it really starts tying into his backstory as he used to work in uh, – he used to be part of the military. And he saw – like a lot of the shit he talks about in the movie, people just think he's crazy. But there's actual files of him saying like he was on the Navy. You know, he was on, like on the ship. He was there when a lot of this broke out and this started. So throughout the movie, you think he's crazy. But when you really look at the backstory and you play that game, you start seeing he was telling the truth. He was actually – he's not crazy. And you see that at the end of the movie. Whoa. Which yeah, there's like, a lot to it. The movie pits him as a bad guy. Mm. Yeah. So you, you end up kind of hating him if you only watch the movie and you're just like, oh, well, okay, the movie's over. But but if you're a true fan, you would go do the back. So it's the background the research. Yeah. Sammy's just here for the ride. Yeah, I'm just here for the ride. I'm there with you, Sammy. 
Like, like can I be honest? Can I be honest? Like halfway through what Tony was saying, I totally just zoned out. Was looking yeah, you looked like you zoned out. I was like, like, why does he have a World War Z poster instead of literally any other zombie? What's wrong with World War Z? It's trash. It's a great book, amazing book. I love the fact that it's written that every. Have you played the video game? What if that's referencing the video game? That's not a video game poster. How do you know though? It's based around the same concept. They use the same poster. You've had that before the video game. No, because came I out. can see Brad Pitt. I see him like. There's no the Brad Pitt on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just zombies in a helicopter, which is ironically the same artwork they use for the video game. Really? Yeah. Play the video game. It's actually really fun. Is it? I just got it for free on uh, Epic. Yeah. Yo, I love, fun. I love your your kiss uh, poster behind you. I don't got a kiss poster. Oh. <laughs> Is that the Dixie Cheeks? <laughs> it's an Iron Maiden poster. Oh, Spice Girl. That's and confused. Oh, oh that's Daisy. I think at this point they're just trying to make me turn around to see if I have. I know, I know well, this no, no, no. like Tony, the back of my hand. Tony, from our point of view, Thomas put like a like a big old control panel yeah, on I like think. half of your set, so like I can see you perfectly, but the rest of your set is blocked off by this control panel. All so right. I thought that's on that big... area is actually Funko Pops. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. And then there's more Funko Pops. Uh, there, 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 there we go. There we go. There it is. So you're not a fan of the Dixie Chicks. Wow. I'm not a fan of what? The, the Dixie, Dixie Chicks. Chicks. No. But he's not about the landslide cover. Right? Not, Yo! Yeah, see the hot <laughs> about landslide. Thank you. Thank you for, for bringing that up, Sammy. I have a playlist on my Spotify. It's called Nothing But Landslide. It has every cover that I could possibly find on Spotify of Landslide. It's like about almost three hours long, and it's just landslide <laughs> over and over and over again. And I've listened to that. Like in different genres, times. too? Different yeah. Are you trying to fucking cry or something, dude? That song is so sad. Yeah. In Imagine different genres, bro. Imagine an EDM version of that song. <laughs> well, I've been afraid of you. I think the best one is of uh, the live recording they did at Warner Brothers uh, soundstage. Yeah, that one's on there. Is it? Yeah. That's the best recording of that song ever. You you have to share this playlist, I, I, bro. I, I, I gotta see the this shit. Pumpkin. Thomas is just sitting in confusion. No, because I'm looking to see, is that a Wonder Woman little postcard? Why would you have a tiny postcard version of Wonder Woman instead of, like, a full poster? No, that's a sign that I made, like, a long time ago when I first got into this office. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, Wonder Woman, it's got all the Justice League logos. It's got Joker and Harley Quinn. It's got Batman. And it says, in, any, in this room, anything's possible. What? Yeah, no, you can oh, motivation, Thomas. Just see... don't freaking put me down, man. We only see <laughs> half of it. That's why right. anything is possible if you put your heart in your one woman heart. You know, you know how many fucking people have sat on that couch? How many? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> it could mean yeah, whatever you want it to I mean. I already know whatever you and that couch have done. All right, next I know, up. I know what you're thinking. No, I'm thinking. <laughs> Are you a big fan of the solo movies? <laughs> it's right behind you. There's a bunch What's of solo it? pops. What solo movies? Right behind you. Aren't those solo. from Solo? I got those. You know, you know why I have those? Because they were like $2.50 at Company D. Oh, well, there we go. So you just got the solo pops. Well, I got the Millennium Falcon from uh, Solo. I'm on my fucking aunt. I'm on. Solo was a good movie. I like Solo. Solo was a good movie. I wish they made the second one. But... I just don't understand why Disney made the same mistake by having a Black Widow movie after Black Widow's dead. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> like, do you not... Solo died, and then so they pay grabbed attention. the Solo movie. <laughs> Kevin, why you said about this next phase, do you? Oh, 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 do I not know everything about the yes, next set? Don't, don't jump in Marvel territory. About, about, about General Ross being Wait, Red that's Hulk, and that's terrible. why we're going to see him at Black Widow? Because he's going to be the Dark oh, Avengers? Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's all you, but Marvel? Me and Josue can take care of that one. Oh, he, doesn't think, he doesn't think he'd know anything Marvel, Thomas. That's okay. I'm not saying you don't. I'm well, just saying. Hey, I'm not gonna pretend I know anything because I honestly don't. I just cool a Black Widow movie. That's gonna be cool. I'm, that's not the one I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to Eternals. That's mine. Out of the movies that are coming out. You don't want to see Chung Chi? I'm excited. I don't, I don't care for Chung Chi right now. I just want to see mutants. Is the continuity what? Dude, see. <laughs> He's gonna see High mutants. Five. High five. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I want to see new mutants, man. <laughs> Sammy what? goes. Sammy goes. I want to see mutants. I'm like, yeah. I yeah. want to see mutants. I've been waiting for that fuck for years now. 
Bro, they're just gonna release it on Netflix <laughs> or Disney Plus. That's what they're gonna do. Just give me the film. I want to watch it. There, there's two. There's two things that that like I've had major regrets with. Mm. Um, uh. Ryan Turek standing next to me, and I didn't know it was him. Oh my god! And I could yes. have interviewed him anything about the Halloween 2018 movie, um, and also the fact that I could see a uh, before release version of New Mutants because I got the movie pass like preview for it, and I was like, "Now nah, just see what it comes in theaters." You boo! You could have told me you could have cut. You could have seen the cut that, that was originally going to come out before they actually redid the, the entire movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I would have, I would have told like, you guys. Like, he's seen the Jungle Cruise movie. He's yeah. seen the Jungle Cruise movie. And that movie's been pushed back how many times now? Well, now, yeah. So when it actually comes out, it'll be like almost about two, that. two years after I had actually seen it. I gotta go. Why they uh, remade the entire movie? I don't know. So they could tie it into the MCU. I don't know. This is when Disney. I'm they're, down. They're gonna remake the Haunted Mansion. Just bet, bet, bro. They're gonna remake. I want that. to be Eddie Murphy then. <laughs> okay. I know. I want Eddie Murphy playing Donkey in the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> but it's actually Eddie Murphy. But not it's a actually CGI. Eddie Murphy. So it's got like the ears and everything. Someone Heck, yeah. blowing my phone up on Instagram and it's really bothering. <laughs> what? I just hear the vibration of my phone keep going off. I'm like, fucking shut up. Put it on silent. Do not disturb <laughs> mode. What is this amateur hour in episode wow. ninety four? Come on. Allegedly, allegedly ninety four. Earlier allegedly. we were. Counting. We don't even know what we're on yeah, now. So. Allegedly. Look, I was going through your thing. It goes from 60, 63. I'm like, cool. Sixty nine is just six away, right? And then it goes to seventy four. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta look back and redo it then. He probably saw 63 and thought it was 73 and then went 74. I about. wanna know who's on 69, Lamau. That's it. Why don't you just count down to like the episodes then and actually what the real 69 is? <laughs> That's your job. Why don't you do that? <laughs> well, he's the one that wants to know. I don't give a shit. <laughs> he doesn't care. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, this is the not. This is the of horrors. So. I just want to put out a good podcast. I don't care what number we're on. <laughs> you care about the number. I don't. As long as it was Mason. a good podcast, that's all that matters. <laughs> the numbers, Mason. The numbers. What do they mean? <laughs> the numbers, Mason. Have you played? Since you got PS4, have you played Modern Warfare 2 Remastered yet? No. I, no, but I, I played Warfare. Warzone. 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 Warfare. Warfare. Modern Warfare. Warzone, Warzone. I, play Water I like I like Plunder. I don't like Battle Royale. Same, plunder, dude. Plunder, is so much I fun. I love Plunder. I'm the man. I kill one and I just go through the houses. And Wait, what are you playing? Uh, what are you playing Modern Warfare on? Me? I know what you're playing Modern Warfare on. I'm talking I'm about the him. PS4. I guess I gotta download it on my PS4 just to play with you guys, huh? Dude, no, it's cross -platform. Oh wait, no, we can cross platform. You can. It's can cross platform. You really? I play on my PC, baby. Oh god, god it's are you about to freaking squat up or what? I, you know what I'm about to do? I'm gonna play Battlefront again. I've you, missed that. You game. know what? You know what's funny? On on Warzone, it'll tell you who's playing on PlayStation, who's playing on PC. Really? Right. So it's really easy to pick on the PC. Uh, but it won't tell you who's playing on Xbox. <laughs> Well, Same thing with PlayStation. Like if uh, for uh, Xbox, it will tell you who's playing on PC and who's playing on Xbox, but it won't tell you who's playing on PS4. Oh, oh interesting. So it was just it was just show a controller icon indicating that they're playing on a console. But yeah, gotcha. Have you seen the new PS5 remote? Yeah. What do you think? I don't care. <laughs> Cute, right? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just right now. My mind's just trying to wrap around of how how I'm gonna pre-order both these consoles if they're gonna be at like five hundred dollars a piece. Oh, dude, they're gonna be so expensive. Okay, like, how, okay, Tony, how is it to be rich? Because I don't know that <laughs> lifestyle. You should me, know that you lifestyle. Know. You know where you live. It's, excuse you. <laughs> we live in a redneck town. <laughs> That's where we live. Dude, do you want to see ghetto? Come down to Norwalk. I'll show you some ghetto areas. I live right around the fucking corner from freaking Vadio Norwalk. The One Ways, Neighborhood, all the no notorious gangs in Norwalk. It's great. I, I, I can give you a nice... Yeah, we, we don't like putting out there where we live. It'll be very Studio yeah. Tour-like, you know? <laughs> We're going glasses, so when we go into Vadio Norwalk, you know, you get to, don't put your glasses on yet, but, we'll, you know, when we get there. By the way, love the TikToks. Oh, yeah? We have another I, idea. I, we I, might film either today or something. Sort of I will say this. The one where you guys are doing Flip the Switch, you look... Tim, you look very uncomfortable dancing. You look like you don't want to do it. 
Well, because it was going on for a while. I forgot because we filmed it once. That's not the ah. That's not the first one. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's like, <laughs> like at that point, basically, both like I don't want to fucking do this. And how many more times are we gonna have to do this? I was also confused why you're both wearing the same thing. And that the, was like the joke. because that's the and, whole joke. And the only difference is that he's wearing your ring. Yeah, yeah that was the necklace, joke. Yeah. But that's not the that's not the bit. That's the we flipped the switch and we all we flipped was my ring and the yeah, the but, necklace. But that's but the, the bit is it. it's like you're supposed to do it with the girl. Thing. That's why we it's asked. Really we put in the comments. Did we do it right? That's, that's come on. I think I'm getting. I'm getting a TikTok <laughs> fade up, man. I think I'm getting there. What happened? I, I think I'm getting the TikTok fandom, 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 whatever. Fandom. Fame Fame dumb. Dumb. You're becoming famous. Oh, you're famous. becoming famous. I got a video that's got like 28 point something k views. You do? I do. I don't know. And it wasn't even something I made. It was just a fucking clip I found on YouTube. Slapped the fucking thing on it, and it fucking worked. Well, that's yeah. why, because it's not you. Oh, exactly. <laughs> what was it? It was a video of um. I don't know if you guys ever seen the Trailer Park Boys. It's a fucking funny show on Netflix. Um, uh, it's a mockumentary type show. But anyway, they were on an episode of Jimmy Kimmel, and one of the guys comes out and trips and falls and eats shit. It's part of their bit. So I put a... Uh, oh, I, I put, see that. I put society, so how's life going, me, and it shows the guy falling. Ah, so, so you got all the account. Facebook moms to you're come a like meme it, huh? page. That's what you got. Okay. You got all I the Facebook another, I did another moms TikTok where I filmed that. Elementary school kids, you still. I, I filmed that one section of the Black Widow trailer where he's like, where she's like, "You got fat," and I put everyone after quarantine ends when they see family and friends. Not me. Oh, how did that do? Oh, hell. Oh, you're vegetarian now. Yeah, exactly. I'm vegetarian. No, I'm not. I'm pescatarian. Oh, wait, shout out okay. to bacon. Am I right? Hey, I miss the bacon. Gang, gang, oh, I miss fucking steak and fucking pork See, chops. Look, I'm, I'm like, I'm all for everybody turning like vegan or vegetarian. That just means there's more meat for me, <laughs> right? Exactly. Well, there's no meat right now. All the plants are closed. It's actually so. getting a lot better. Have you been to a store recently or no? No, no, we're talking about like the meat meat plants. Meat plants are being being shut shut down down. right now. Yes, so was so was. uh, I was also very sad when I found out. uh, (laughs) Very sad when I found out also Corona's plant was uh, shutting down. So. Oh. Oh, Who's it? Are they they really now? I don't. I don't drink Corona. I think it's a she beer. No, it it was a. I think you're right. No, he said he's an alcoholic and he's proud of it. Uh, I'm an alcoholic and proud. That's what he was telling us. Proud of it. Yeah, proud of it. Yeah. Proud of it. Yeah. All right. So what about, okay, we've been talking a lot of shenanigans this podcast. It's been sure. fun. Why don't we get serious about something? Let's talk about your three channels, man. You've got CLV Media now. you got CLV Horror. <laughs> There's two that, channels. That's two channels. There's two channels. <laughs> Try to be serious here. <laughs> I, well, so who well, wants to talk pop. about which channel? I what? say we just talk about the two because right now TLV Pops is just like that is postponed. But I, I already, I already mentioned it too last time. It was because. But I want to talk. Really about trying it. to get uh, TLV Horror to a thousand right now, and that is That's his focus. that is my main goal right now. Oh, Tim. That's why I've made so many videos of just Tim, me. Tim, oh. you disappointed me twice. Oh. Uh, with the with the mystery conspiracy and stuff like that. Well, I know why I did that. It's because I saw a video on YouTube and I saw how easy it was to do that. And then I was like, let me try this again. I'm like, that's not easy to do research like that. So then I said, all right, no more. You got to put in the time and the work to make quality content. And I'm doing that for things I'm enjoying right okay, now. Okay, nigga, a horror. <laughs> we are. We're. P- <laughs> Sammy, no, what are we doing about, right now? We're taking a tough time. talking about your nights of horror. <laughs> your, your we got a docu series in the work. Yes, you do. We just wrapped. We just wrapped up writing episode two. There's a ton of research we have oh, to go so into doing am, this. When am I gonna be on for the 1930s war stuff? Right. That's, that's what I want. What do you want to be on? 1930s. Oh, you. Oh, like- okay. I actually we. Oh, oh. Right. Done. You're giving away too much, Thomas. We haven't even announced what the project is yet. I just said 1930s. <laughs> you gotta right, do it. Out, out, that's fine, that's you gotta fine. do it in the Simpsons uh, geek guy voice though. The entire interview. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think Moore. I'll explode. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think y'all realize when I do that voice, it like my nose vibrates uncontrollably. Yeah, it, doesn't it get, it get itchy and shit? It hurts <laughs> so much. Uh, it's like it's like before, if, though. 
I'm sorry. Uh, is it worth Daily it? Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. You, you pay me for this? I was just doing this out of the kindness of my heart. But, I mean, if you're paying me, then, yeah, I'll do my voice No, you like didn't that. say, is it worth it to oh, do it for his... I said TLV Horror, not oh, is it TLV worth horror. it. Yeah, so TLV Horror. TLV Horror. So what, what inspired the concept to go back to the roots of the channel? Well, what inspired it is Kappa. Uh, yeah, Kappa. So. Kappa inspired it. And we saw that. Shout out Kappa. We couldn't, we couldn't do both content on the same channel because we have a young audience for TELU Media. Well, we're trying. Uh, well, we keep. We well, keep we're make, doing. Yeah, we make content there, like, like as you pointed out, entertainment mm -hmm. for all. Right. So that's what that's true. Lawsuit coming soon. <laughs> yeah. So. We, so is it 13 knew. plus or in entertainment for all? <laughs> yeah, we, took, we took out that beginning section of the video. It's no longer in our little so, intro. So basically, TLAV Horror then is more of a kind of teen adult kind of channel. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I just checked the uh, inner analytics and stuff. We are getting a... Uh, our audience is 18 to 24 right now, which yeah. is what I wanted and... Seems like what we did. It's for, it's for, it's for the big boys. TLV oh. Horse for the big boys, and yeah. TLV Media is for the family stuff. Like, you know, when we go red carpet, when we do theme parks, everybody's like, oh, yeah, we love theme parks, woo! And then, oh, we love horror, right? Like, And then TLV Pops is like, oh, we are collectors. Mm -hmm. so those are like for more like the middle age, midlife crisis people. So that's what yeah, I mean. <laughs> is that you where I'm at in my life? <laughs> No, if you but only yeah, saw yeah. what the studio oh, yeah. looked like, you would think I was in a fucking midlife crisis right now. <laughs> I yeah. wonder why. Because I am. <laughs> right. It's a new haircut, bro. It's a new haircut. That, that, that the hawk? The crisis. You like the hawk? So are you planning on, like, uh, growing wait, it? Wait, 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 wait. When you say the hawk, are you referring to Cobra Kai? Is that what you just said right now? <laughs> Cobra Kai. At least finally someone gets the oh reference, Oh, my goodness. Man. All right, so you're the... Okay, you know what? Oh, Bye. my God. <laughs> it's Tony Hawk. <laughs> ah! yeah. I have not heard that one yet. That was pretty good. Oh, God. That was a first. Are you planning on, like, letting it, like, grow? Like, get yeah. bigger? Yeah. So the plan is uh, every week shave, sh I'm shaving the sides. Um, I thank God through the times where we can't get haircuts right now, my uncle actually does know how to cut hair. Oh, so nice. that's great. that's been a big plus. Um, so uh, we started it like three or four weeks ago. Um, I told him I was like, well, actually the main inspiration behind the mohawk was uh, I was watching a rancid music video. And one of the the guitar players had a mohawk. I'm like, that was cool. I want to try that out. I, I can't probably make it like his, but I want to see what I can do with mine. So, so uh, we but your hair's curly, Tony, isn't it curly? It's like well, wind. I mean, so I'm yeah, not gonna. Yeah. I, I'm gonna try to throw some gel or some pomade in it, see what it makes, what it looks like. I'm gonna have to experiment with it when it uh, grows yeah. out more. Um, so we'll see what when it what happens when it, it grows out more. Right now, it's very, it's still pretty know. short. So if I were to put like gel in it, it wouldn't come out too well. But okay. Uh, Right now, I think that the thing is just to maintain the sides and just to let this grow out. We'll see how long it takes. Maybe by hot season, we'll have something. I think you will by then. You'll have it'll hair be goes fast. A little. Like this this is already, already like starting to. We we shaved it with like a razor and everything, and I can already feel it starting to grow back. This will be pretty pretty long come time next week. My hair grows fast for some reason and kind of irritates me sometimes. And it irritates you. It does. Uh, I wish. Yeah. I wish. My hair grew fast on my face. Oh, but yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Same. My I, my wonderful beard is doing all right, but yeah. yeah. I finally shaved the beard too. That was gone. Nice. Yeah. It's I mean, you do that. Cool. You do that every time, like around <laughs> hot season, anyways, right? I know. I that's kind of been the pattern I've noticed. Is I get the buzz cut, but I'll sometimes keep the beard or I'll shave it all off. Ah, that's it true. suits you. It suits you either way. I, I definitely could not rock your look, Tony. The I mohawk could, right now? I could not because there's... A lot of people have been telling me I look like... Or not a lot of people. Just Sammy has been telling me that I look like the fucking Undertaker from the one year here at WrestleMania where he had a mohawk. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I was I was thinking more Chuck Chuck Liddell or whatever his name is. I've got... I, I thought that immediately, too, when I got this. I was like, I look like fucking Chuck Liddell. This Dude, looks horrible. You can do the facial hair and then you got it. I don't want to look like Chuck Liddell. I don't like him. Bro, you can be, you can be him for Halloween. Met him Chuck no. I met him at Veggie Grill. You met Chuck Liddell? <laughs> at Veggie Grill? <laughs> nice. 
Good Chuck gold. Liddell. That's Liddell. Chuck Liddell yeah, right I met there. him at Veggie Grill. You should ask him to give you a roundhouse kick. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> give, me a, give, me a, give me a nice roundhouse kick. Yeah, he's he, he, Yeah, because he used to do UFC. Yeah. That's now he's Chuck old. He's, he's, yeah, he's old he and he's CFU. like... He what? He used to do CFU. Oh. <laughs> CFU too. <laughs> CFU. I see you, J. Cole. I'm at the guy so what's gonna happen? I, so there's a, there's a vlog you guys recently came out with. And you're saying that you're gonna take down the pictures on the set. What's gonna happen with those, man? It's an uh, iconic. One's gonna go one's in his going room. In my room. Uh, <laughs> guess which one? The Shining. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and like we showed, um, we have that massive map of uh, uh, Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom 1983. Boom! That fits right there. Um, it's also gonna help a lot with lighting. Because that way the we'll have a little bit more. Of Are you sure that's actually going to be good for the light? Like, yeah, look at this aura that we have. It's going to be even so. Better. No, is it gonna, it's gonna I, be, I know that hey, you're going to have to frame remember. that. Is it going to fit with the frame in that centerpiece, or have you guys measured it yet? Yeah, 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 with the frame. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need because it looked like a big map, and I was like, it's, more right side. it's ginormous. Yeah, we can't yeah. do it. Like, well, right. I know. We're, we're next big purchase those freaking stand up lights. I but saw my Amazon is like list. So good. I've had. They have a good kit. Like a reasonable price kit on Amazon for like a hundred and something for two cents. I know the Amazon know. Basics. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't have Beautiful. to do the Amazon Basics, but I don't know they got um, good stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do some more shelves. We just recently put this up today. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, our see photos. It. Collage. Yeah, yeah, with yeah, Dan Aykroyd, with Reggie, uh, with What's Up, Bro, uh, with Creatures. A couple okay, others. Thomas, Thomas. Now you're just showing off. Okay, I mean, relax. That's kind of the whole point of this. But board. but just showing were... off. <laughs> yeah, well, um, when don't we? Did we mention Dan Aykroyd? Did we mention Dan Aykroyd? He's on there. Did I mention Dan Aykroyd? Look, look how much he's smiling. Look how happy he is to be in the photo. There you go. Did you ask him any Blues Brothers questions at least? Huh? Did you ask him any Blues Brothers questions at least? No. No, we asked him what the what the, the white stuff was. And he said, Oh, shaving cream. Shaving cream. So oh, a whole lot of it. He we got asked good him shape. what horror was, and he said porn. Yeah, porn. Said, porn? porn. You mean porn? Wow. Uh, I, I was like, yes, clearly that is just, the best. So how are you gonna talk to Dan Aykroyd and not ask him a question about the Blues Brothers? Uh, because we were also uh, starstruck. Yeah, how about that? Like we didn't actually think we would get an interview with Dan Aykroyd. How about that? Because like, look, it was the end of the, the end whole of the red night. carpet yeah. thing, and and he was like towards the end too. Yeah. And he, Maybe we should have asked him about his tequila. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. No, we're we're used to we're used to like Slash looking at us and be like, oh, I, I gotta I gotta go. And so, <laughs> he like, said that twice. Yeah, he said that to us twice now. Yeah. Um, Greg so, Nicotero did that to us last year too. Uh, so, like, don't worry, your maids was leaving too, so you're good, bro. You're yeah. Good. Uh, <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis, not seeing Jamie Lee Curtis, like she never got to our side of the. Country. I hope all these celebrities watch this and they go, yeah, now for sure we're not getting an interview with you guys. <laughs> never make it halfway through the red yeah, carpet and then they dip through the bag. Mm -hmm. So it's like, listen. Just I be thankful you get on the damn carpet. Oh no 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 no! We are thankful, but then it's oh, also like we love we love actors and actresses I, I was, that we can't meet. I was supposed to have already interviewed Kevin Hart. I was supposed to interview him two months ago, and here I am, not having interviewed because Kevin of Hart. slop. The opening of slop. Yeah. That's what some people call slop. it. Calling it slop. The, the ride that me and Sammy probably won't fit on, so I'm not even gonna bother getting on. Whoa! Okay. okay. Next. Next topic. <laughs> I'm just saying it as it is. I don't even fit on the fucking Harry Potter ride anymore. I'm sad about that. Back? Oh, that's a good question. What happened? You ever think, no, it'll be Jurassic World in the dark. Do you think that will ever happen? I no. definitely hope so because I never got to experience Jurassic Park in the dark. Why not? Oh, no, move. Really? I, I, every time I wanted to get on it with someone when I went back in the day with the Hornets or like my dad and everybody, like no one wanted to get wet. So. You don't move. That's, that's a terrible reason. I mean, like, this is Southern California, and but the they didn't, heat waves they didn't, they are They probably massive. didn't know about Jurassic Park in the dark. No, I, I knew a lot. Me and my cousin knew a lot about it. Me and George knew all about it. Well, then why didn't you just say, never, F you guys, I'll be right so, back. One thing you got to know about George, too, he's actually allergic to chlorine. So, oh, no way. Yeah, so he can't really go swimming or anything. So. Uh, uh, yeah, so is Logan replacing George? Is that what happened? What's the T, sis? Let me talk to you about George, all right? George is my cousin, and I love him. Yes. One day, for some reason, he didn't give me any reasons. He just didn't want to do the podcast no more. Okay. There we go. And so I was like, that's cool. I'm not mad about it one bit. 
just gotta keep going. All right. Um, George, yeah. however, me and him and I started doing a comic book, so that's where a lot of his time's been at. Uh-huh. I've considered maybe bringing him on if he's willing to do it for maybe episode 100, uh-huh. but nothing's for sure, certain on that yet because yeah, I don't know if he'd want to do it. Um, ah. His days are probably over. <laughs> Um, but no, George, he, no one's replacing George. George was a founding member of the Knights of Horror. He's a staple of the Knights of Horror. He will always forever be a staple of the Knights of Horror. Um, when we initially started the channel, I wanted it to be me and him a lot, but I didn't bring him into the podcast, but he was, a, he was behind a lot of the ideas in the beginning for videos. So okay. he was still there, but not there. And then he finally came on in the podcast did his time on the podcast, did a fucking hell of a good time on the podcast, had a really fun time with him, and then eventually just moved on. Gotta move on. Gotta move on. Gotta, gotta go your own way. What? <laughs> gotta go your own way? Yeah. Make your own path. Um, but now we got Sammy. Uh, Logan. I brought Logan on because I love not only – I'm a huge fan of the tribute band that he was involved with. And and I, it, love, I love how you pitched Sammy there. You went, and now we got Sammy. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then there's Logan coming. Everybody knows Sammy at this point. Sammy's been on the freaking podcast for like a year now. Yeah. Which has been a fun year. I've had a fun time. I don't think – I don't know if Logan wants to be on the podcast, so it's still me and Sammy. Mm-hmm. So Logan's going to be what, doing like, like his own videos and stuff like that? Logan, uh, we haven't talked what Logan will be doing yet. Uh, he just debuted Wednesday. Um, it was actually it was going to be a video, but it ended up turning into a monster podcast just because how long it was. Um, so there's two podcasts this week. This is the second one. Um, but we don't know what Logan's going to do yet. No. I thought this was the Mindless Horror Podcast. What Which podcast is this? What, this is the what did we sign up to? This is the Mindless Horror uh-huh. Podcast. I, this is the second one that we've done this week. This week, that's what oh, you're saying. Oh, gotcha. So how are we 94? That, I just want to know why we're not 100. That's, that's really that's my big concern. <laughs> what did I say? I said that 100 was going to be the plan to go down and do it in person. Okay. I wanted to get a lot of creators together. Mm-hmm. But you, you know, in the world of YouTube, not everybody gets along with everybody. Oh, so, oh snap! What are really? There, are, let me ask you a question, Tony. Are there mindless horror podcasts that aren't put under your playlist? Yes. Okay, because it only goes up to seventy-nine. Are you looking on the playlist? Is that why you missed? Yeah. It? Yeah. Yes. So there, I I know I wasn't going crazy because I know I did six sixties and stuff. There were some nights when we would do character appreciation month. Let me tell you, that was fucking a lot of work to do, but it was very fun at the same time. But the editing process was just a lot that I would even just forget to add them in the playlist because I would just, my main goal was just like, I just need to get these things uploaded. I got deadlines to meet. Mm. I didn't care if they went in a playlist or not. I just cared that they were uploaded. So if you actually go well, on videos, one day since you're in this uh, little quarantine, mm-hmm. sometimes you might not have anything to do. <laughs> just go through and go click, click. I mean, <laughs> Tim, I got three channels I run, so I gotta really. I got. I'm pretty busy. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm trying. Maybe, maybe when I'm up late one night in bed, doing nothing, catching up on TLAB videos, which all you should be doing right now. Oh, that's very generous. That's a nice plug. That's a nice plug. Hey, nice we were plug. on episode fifty. Yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were we episode get an episode. Going on. Yeah. What? What was the first episode you were on? Episode like, ten. I think. Ten. It was either five or ten. I think it was 10. It was double digits. Near yeah, three hour podcast. 10? Yeah. Such a long time. we had it. gray and red. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And red. Afterwards. Oh, yeah. Awkward R6. 10 50. And then when was the live stream that we did? Because then we went to, a, we went to a, a filming location I will not name, but it was a fucking fun time for all for me at least. I had a blast. <laughs> that. Was a good that was time. after. I don't that know. Was, that was way after 50. No. Was that in like September though? Because it was a Horror Nights related. Yeah. Live we did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was that on our number fifty? Because it was after. It was after Midsummer. I'm almost certain that was our number fifty. Mm. No, number fifty was with George. Remember, George came yeah, by. Just passed, and... I just saw her name. Go up again. <laughs> you how many videos I did with you guys this hot season though? YouTube that probably have your name watch. on it. Oh, oh, no, YouTubers to watch. Yeah. All right. Uh, next topic. Let's keep this going. Um. So, what's next for TLAB Horror? 
Oh, what's next? Material? What's next? You got a lot of time on your hands out? right now. What's up? When is this coming out? Friday. Uh, Friday. Today's Friday. This is coming out today. Today. <laughs> okay. It is out. It is out today. It is now. Um, it is now Friday. We are recording on a Saturday. We just <laughs> filmed a video with uh, Josue's idea, which was a cool idea. It was a fun idea. Uh, we got next week. We got. We've got a watch party season two coming out. Yeah. Oh, season two. Uh, season two. Which Wait, is how long was season one? Like, how many episodes was season one? Uh, however, how however, many mazes, mazes there were in twenty eight. I found. Eight. You found it. I found sixty nine. Who's on sixty nine? <laughs> Who's on sixty nine? It's us. Sixty nine is Brandon and Kyle Scare Actor Appreciation Month, episode fourteen. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Character Appreciation Month episode fourteen. And it's two also our podcast episode. Nice. There we go. Sixty nine. I can't wait to do. Uh, hopefully, thank. I hope we get to do it. But season two of Character Appreciation Month. That's gonna be fun. There we go. I mean, keep doing I don't know, what did, you did, do. Did, did, did NOH approve of that? Did they? Did they green light? <laughs> was it green light the second season? No, he just he uh, released a teaser back in like February on our Instagram. <laughs> Oh, were you supposed to start filming like now? No, we just we no. get, we we let the characters know because we had so many that wanted to do it after we were done to like listen. Oh, we we're go. gonna do a second season, so when time comes, hit us up because we know there's a lot of people that we wanted to interview, mm -hmm. but we just we we're getting yeah. towards the end of the, our run. We did. I the think real concern is what? summer of guests. The summer, real yes, I know season two. Uh, that might be postponed. We gotta step that up. I think that just has to be up. Awesome. Ozzy Osbourne, if you're watching, I'd love to have you on the show. Let me just talk to him about uh -huh. his time in Trolls World Tour. How about that? There you go. You'll get him on. Glenn Danzig from the Misfits, if you're watching, love you on the show. If you come across this somehow, I mean, yeah. Why would they be watching? Do you like DM them this or something? Like, you no. never know. Maybe they they, no. they have a kid. Quarantine. He's like, I'm gonna let the nights of horror. You maybe have a child watches this okay. <laughs> and then goes, oh, oh, oh. I, don't, I don't know what you want me to say. Look at TV media. They watch us instead. They reach out to us. <laughs> uh, I would, yeah, be like, like, oh, we heard about you guys uh, doing okay. your picture break podcast. <laughs> yep. All right, fine. Well, yeah. Yeah. What's, next, what's next guest wise for the Pick You Can Bring podcast? Oh, we got a couple people lined up. Um, me. When oh, you're not a guest, you're part of it. Oh, uh, sway. Okay, let me rephrase that because I know you guys like to keep your stuff secretive. When you, can we? You want to know why? You want to know why? When can we expect the first guest? Oh, <laughs> whenever, whenever. Tell me can... when the coronavirus. <laughs> is on. How about that? So <laughs> you guys want to do it in person? Yeah, we want to do it in person. We we've we've talked to about seven people who are all on board they would love to like give their insight because really what we want to do with it is like do real experiences talking about um what they what the horror community means to them what have they how have they been involved in that and whatnot so like right now we're doing the filler this is basically like the the it's like the first aspect of Pay Your Brain podcast where we're just talking. We chill because there's going to be times where it's just going to be exactly. us three talking. So we want that to be like the standard. And then once we have these guests, we want it to really be an interview where we're talking to them about their times as whatever, whatever they are, horror related, all their experiences, like all the stuff that's like, you know, you would not believe. But these are the real experiences that they've yeah. been through. Um, I mean, just a couple of people like, like that. Seeing are... ten million fireflies, like yeah, like, yeah. Well, you would not believe, <laughs> believe your eyes, eyes yeah. when ten million firefly, dude. Hot Tell topic me. radio. Just saying. <laughs> but that, yeah. So in terms of those are the guests. Um, we've got a couple of people on YouTube, people who are not associated to YouTube. Um, really, people that are like, oh no way, and then people who are like, oh no way. So. That's like Bruce Campbell, and he was like, yeah. no, we'll do it for free for you guys, right? Yeah. We don't have to pay yeah, whatever so, price. Yeah. Wait, Bruce Campbell said he would do it for free for you guys? <laughs> no, that was a shot. Because <laughs> I, I reached out to Bruce Campbell's agent, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were... I, it, was a, it was a little... A little it was a joke. A little knot. It was a little chit-chat. <laughs> it was That's a roasting it. session back, back in play. Bruce, Cam <laughs> Bruce Campbell. But, yeah, take your brain.
Yeah. As a cat. I, I, I do like, though, that you guys kept with Pick Your Brain because it was absent for some time. Uh, and then you guys rebooted it, and I do like where it's at now. Thank you. Not saying I, know I didn't listen to it before, story. but I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I like the whole new setup you guys do. Yeah. The, uh, the cold opens are hilarious. <laughs> that was never intentional. That was just, I let it record, and then he says something, so I'm like, all right, I got to keep that in. So now the cold opens are a thing, but it was. No, because I remember I mentioned cold opens are a good idea because a lot of podcasters do that now. Yeah, but like, I don't want it to feel forced. So I literally, I'll just press the button. As I'm still setting up, and then he'll say something to Josue, and then they'll have like a whole bit, and I'll be like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna put this. My life's a whole bit. <laughs> so, Same. TLEV, uh, Horror, TLEV Media, TLEV Pops, all on YouTube right now. TLEV Media all across the board. Um, yeah. It's always yeah, good. Fine. It's always fun to have the boys on the podcast. They always give us such good content and a, a good podcast. It's always fun to just uh, catch up with them. <laughs> Especially during the pandemic, it's hard times, and I think right now, uh, on a serious note, you know, getting all the content creators together. I mean, you're seeing a ton. Uh, we did an East versus West with like four people, um, which was a fun time. TLV Media just did a video where they asked a bunch of content creators what they would like to see at Haunts, which was a very fun time to uh, not only be a part of but to watch. Um, and we're continuing that with a podcast between us and TLV Media, and we'll con- keep continuing that to give you guys the best uh, quarantine content we possibly can on both ends because uh right now extremely difficult times going on i know people are slowly going insane i know people um much like myself used to go out every weekend and you know it's just now you you put a halt on life really does suck but um if you've seen anything from this podcast pretty much the entire podcast with nothing but shenanigans and i think this is all something not only that i needed but that we all needed because of the rough times and i hope you guys had some fun laughs and enjoyed uh, this little podcast that we and, did and, got today. And I think, you know, people could do this, you know, and not they don't have to record it. You know, if, if people are feeling lonely and stuff like that, text your friends, email them, whatever you want to do, Instagram them, um, and see if they want to do like a, a, a Skype call and you guys just hang out like that. Dude. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm just helping out to put it out there because, you know. <laughs> no, 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 he puts, he's got a good point on it. I like that. No, exactly. There's, there's Go been ahead. times... <laughs> And I will come out oh, sponsored, but listen, Jackbox Party, amazing game to play with yeah. for Zoom or Skype. There you go. So I'm just saying. There we go. Jackbox, man. We did one of those on Mad Slash with Tormented, Fracture Compass. That was a good time right there. There you go. So we were saying, I'm still waiting for that TLV uh, gaming live stream. Yeah. Why uh, did we cancel again? Well, we also made churros instead so. <laughs> yeah, i don't uh, think it'd take that dang long i'm yeah. still waiting for that dope video because i really want to learn how to oh, make it well it will have already come out when this comes out so. oh, oh, oh. now Spoilers. i know how to pull whips no i don't yeah, but i do he now said this comes out friday today's this friday he's coming out today oh, oh wait yeah, wait Friday. what but oh next friday oh oh yeah. this coming friday yeah they are now realizing that today is friday no today is saturday today's saturday no uh... in the podcast world it is the Friday. Of... I just oh. love being a content creator. Yeah. They, no, they, but uh, it's been five years. They still need. Some well, action. the watch party's out. Go enjoy it. Yeah. I think Hostface's video might be out. I don't know. Uh, watch party on The Shining. So go ahead and check yeah. that out. Dole Whip was delicious. You'll see how we made it. Yeah. <laughs> sure. There we go. Watch um, party yeah. on The Shining. It gives me uh, common ideas. Yeah. That gives you what? Common ideas. Comment ideas. There we go. Uh, okay. uh, like asteroids? Yeah. Well, Mr. East conspiracies. Yeah. Oh? No. No. You think that's the only thing I think about these days? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's all I think about. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. You can't stuff. sleep, bro. It's just like, it's, it's on your mind the entire time. Yeah, you know, I know, dude. I'm just like, I get a notification on my phone. I'm like, oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> one day. No. One day when I can't think of anything no. else to make. Listen. I'll be like, you know do we got to do it? Do we got to do it together? Because if that's what it takes, we will. No, it just takes me wanting yeah, to actually do idea. research. I would just why. love for, like, how would you frame that video? Because it would be like, he's standing here, <laughs> and then you're just kind of, like, here out. Why do we got to stand? <laughs> oh, we I do, always stand. Yeah, we do all of our videos standing up. except and for I'll sit on a bar stool, get on his level, and we'll be fine. <laughs> he's on his knees. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, my knees, I'll be on his level. Come on. There we go. There exactly. Go. No. There there go. Um, no, in case thank those you guys. of you who didn't know, Tony's a giant. <laughs> Am I? What are you like eight two or so something like savvy. that? Oh god, both of you are. Hey, eight, eight, eight one and a half. You were close. Eight, one and a half. Okay, yeah. we're almost at that eight two mark. He's at that Hagrid level. We got that Hagrid. Yep. Yeah. Um. No, thank you guys so much for uh, coming on the podcast and and talking. Uh, those of you who don't know, uh, lately, on another serious note, um, it's been a very depressing time for me. Um, I am seriously, I had a very dark day on Monday as of this recording and it's just been super depressing um and I actually had to have someone get me out of that dark place on Monday and I'm glad this person did that because um it's just been a very tough time for me I'm not used no one's used to this it's the first for all of us and um it, it's been just extremely hard for me especially um just trying to get used to all this so uh it's stuff like when I do stuff like this it actually really brings me up and it, and it keeps yeah, me motivated yeah. to keep going so um yeah I, lo- I look forward to seeing the uh the light at the end of the tunnel eventually yeah uh, it's because there. it's 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 dark time right now mm-hmm. it really is it, it sucks there's not much we can do but keep creating content and keep uh the collaborations going because that's what's keeping me going and that's what's keeping the YouTube world going. So yeah. thanks for everyone who watches these videos who have made it this far. If you have made it this far, because we're on like an hour and a half now. Uh, nice. All right. And uh, thanks to TLV again for uh, being on the show for the fourth time. Um, that's a new milestone right there for them. Let's, now, let's, let's not do this again. Okay. Let's not do this at number 100. <laughs> we, we keep it at an even number. That's for sure. Let's, even let's, number? Guys, guys, it's been real. It's been fun. I can't say it's been real fun, so. Still waiting on my invitation for Pick Your Brain, but, you know, it's just like. <laughs> Still waiting. For what? For my invitation to Pick Your Brain podcast. Well, you're going to keep waiting. I'm going to have you guys here with the virtual stuff. I always hate, always hate editing. Listen, I got to keep it going, man. I hate it, too. <laughs> yeah, you guys are rocking it with the virtual stuff. So, we just suck. I mean, it. like, props to you. but Hey, well, Skype's got a new freaking screen recording thing that makes it beautiful. So. There you go. Boom. That's cool. Can't go wrong with that. But, uh, all right, now let's finally end this because it's like the third time I was trying to do this. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, TLV Media now on YouTube, obviously. TLV Horror on YouTube. TLV Pops. Um, TLV Media all across the board for social media, whether it be Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Uh, TLVmedia.com, their website as well. Um, hopefully in the future when this all ends and everybody gets financially back on track, we'll probably get some TLV merch pretty soon. Maybe. Whoa, okay. I said maybe, maybe. Teespring, man, they got you covered. Just saying. No, we, 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 we do another. We do it another way. We do it another, we do another way. Oh, oh, oh. They're going to buy a printing press and just make their own shit. Exactly. It's actually, oh. you don't see Who it. says we need to buy it? We could just steal it's, it. It's behind the camera. What? 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 <laughs> heist? Someone's a heist? Did somebody say TLEV heist? <laughs> For fourth channels? I've GTA, I've watched a lot of Achievement Hunter. I know what I'm doing. The fourth channel TLEV heist. <laughs> I'm preparing for heist. heist. <laughs> and the final showdown is that we can't even film it. <laughs> <laughs> Use the record a law, obviously. <laughs> All right. Right. Well, <laughs> that concludes today's uh, episode, episode ladies and gents. Today's episode. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. We love you. Stay Thank safe. You. Stay quarantined. Save Halloween. Woo-hoo. Peace. Save Halloween. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Hashtag it. Wash yeah. your damn hands. Wash your damn hands. Stay safe. There you go. All right, guys. That was the podcast with TLV Media. I hope you guys really did enjoy that one. We had a fun time making that. Of course, the first most of this podcast was shenanigans, but that's just how we all are when we get together. Uh, it's always a fun time. So I hope you guys did enjoy that episode, and uh, you guys enjoy the future of what's to come with both channels. Um, next week on the channel, we're going to have uh, Kurt Tuckfield and Shane Hunt, the author and illustrator of Scary Stories, A Tribute to Terror. Um, if you guys uh, tuned in last week, we had AJ Dana, who did all the um, voiceovers for the audiobook and read the book for the audiobook. So that was a fun time talking about that. And we actually got the author and the illustrator of the book to come on the podcast and talk a little bit about that as well. Um, if you guys don't know, at least on my end, um, I'm a huge fan of the Scary Stories uh, books. And I'm, are you a fan too, Sammy? I'm pretty sure you are. No, I've never read them in my life. Never read them? <laughs> no. But you watched the movie with me, didn't you? Didn't we go watch the movie? No. 
So he knows so nothing. I know nothing about them. <laughs> how do you? How did you? What? That was like an essential part of my childhood, dude. Like, how did you not read them? I was reading other stuff. <laughs> Um, well, Scary Stories Telling Dark, great uh, trilogy of books, and it was a great movie. Um, and uh, the uh, author and illustrator of Scary Stories, A Tribute to Terror, will be on the podcast next week, um, which is going to be fun. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about, of course, what they, you know, what some of their influences was, uh, their favorite stories from the original books, and of course, what they thought of the movie, and what they think of the upcoming sequel that just got announced recently for Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. A second part is coming, so I'm excited for that as well. Um, so uh, stay locked in next week. We got more another great podcast coming up next week, and we will see you guys soon. Peace.